Hello guys, welcome to my this video. My name is Anudan. Today in this video, I'll show you how to make a signing form. And in this signing form, I have added some animation which make it very interesting. So the animation is, you can see some animation, it's going on the background automatically. And the another animation I have added when I will move my mouse, the background, you can see the animation. And the main part is signing form. So here I have added two fields. One is username and the another is password. So when I will click the username field, the label username will move up and if I click the outside so it will come down again but if I fill any data so it will stay up as it is and same for the password so this signing form I have made it from scratch if you want to know how to make it so please watch this video and I will suggest don't skip this video and now I will open Visual Studio Code Editor for writing the code if you don't have Visual Studio Code Editor so you can open any other editor or you can download Visual Studio Code Editor you can find any tutorial how to download and install Visual Studio Code Editor because this is very simple. Okay, so now I will move to the Visual Studio Code Editor. So here you can see I have opened Visual Studio Code Editor. So the project structure is first of all the project name is JavaScript. Okay, but if you want to add any project, you can add no issue. And here I have added some folder and file, so I will explain each one by one. So the first folder name is CSS. So inside the CSS folder, I have added one style.css file. So this file is required because here I will add the CSS code for designing purpose. And here images folder. So here I put some images. Actually, this is my old project. So you can see the images. But in this video, images is not required, so you can avoid this folder. And the main part is index.html file where I will write the HTML code and the another file is index.js. So in this video, JS also not required means JavaScript. So you can ignore or you can avoid this file. So here the two file is required which is HTML. So here I have opened and another is style.css file which is under CSS folder. So I have opened style.css file and inside this HTML file you can see I have already added a basic HTML structure and here I'm assuming you know the basic HTML structure if you don't know you can write in the comment section I will guide you or here I will just give you the brief idea so first of all doc type HTML it denotes HTML version 5 every language has some version so here HTML uh, 5 version denoting we use doc type HTML and first of all I want to say like you have to add the same code as it is in your code if you are the beginner okay and after that here HTML tag which is closing here and then head tag which is closing here and inside this head tag I have added some um, important data which is title inside this title I have written sign in form so this sign in form is displaying here you can see inside this tab and after that I have added this meta tag this is very important so when we we'll open this site in any devices like mobile laptop desktop tabs okay so the devices will be the same so that time the site is will adjust according to the device width so for that purpose first of all we need to add this line and after that the link of css file so here the css file you can see this is the separate file so when i will add some style here so how it will apply for our html file okay so for that purpose we write like this code okay so here first of all from index.html file to i have to go css folder because under this is folder we have the style of css file so for going to the css folder we write dot slash then css folder then the file name style of css so now i hope it is clear and now i will start to write the code so first of all here i will write section okay and inside the section here i will write the span tag so section means uh, like it will just occupy the entire row okay so here inside this section suppose if i write hello and inside this span if i write hi so what is the difference between section and span so now here you can see hello and hi okay so here if i inspect so you will find this one section so if i hover on the section you can see this is occupying the entire space you can see here one blue color background is uh, coming and it is uh, it is denoting like this section is occupying the entire space but when i will hover the span so you can see high the content is high i have written so high occupying how much space the span is also occupying that space only so that is the difference between section and span okay so here content is not required so i'll remove just explaining purpose i have added so here i have to add some more span like this way so i'm adding like a pairing like opening and closing so this way i have to add for 
260 times and you have to do the same so just do one thing just count like this way and add it for 260 times so i will add it for 260 times and i will come this video again so here you can see i have added the span tag for 260 times if you count here so i'm scrolling just you can pause the video and you can count so it will be for 260 times and you have to do the same thing and now after that here just i will add the class and the class name i will add sign in so class name you can write anything but there is some rules uh, you cannot add class name using space because if you write with, uh, with space means it will be uh, like this is the one class and this is the another class okay so like this so it will be you know so don't write class name with space if you want multiple class so that time you can write like this okay so now here after that i will add one content so here i write sign in so up to that html i have added now i'll save and i'll go to the browser here you can see it is looking like this so now i will add some css so first of all here i will add star and inside the star i will add this is and what is the meaning of star star means this is the root of, of our html file the root of html file means our html starting from here right so that css it will apply from here okay means from starting onwards so this is the star it is called root so here i will add margin 0 and padding is 0 if you don't know what is margin and padding you can write in the comment section i'll just give you the idea okay and after that box sizing is border box so it comes with default margin padding okay so this is the box sizing default okay and now here i will add the body tag body tag means now i'll write the css for this body tag so here i will add display flex so display flex and after that justify content is center align item is center i'll explain all the css property okay so first of all i will write and then i will explain so high mean height means minimum height it will be 100 vh vh means like we can use pixel wise we can use vh okay so anything you can use and the background color so background you can write or background color you can write both are same but just remember if you are adding background color gradient color so that time you cannot write background color you have to write only background so this is done now i will explain display flex display flex means uh, i have written display flex for the body tag now whatever content we have so inside the body tag we have section section is the child of body tag okay we have another content which is span uh, then uh, this one but the body tags child is six now the six son is the parent then the child is this pen okay like this way so whatever the child of body tag means if i write outside this uh board uh six son if i write any deep so means now the body tag have two child six son and d okay so now if i write uh, display flex for the body tag means whatever child we have inside the body tag so it will come a same line okay means this section and this d it will come the same line earlier i had shown this section was occupying entire space but now it won't occupy the entire space it will come in the same line now if i write hello so let's see okay it is not showing actually because the color is black so what i'll do now for now just i will come in this black color so you can see sign in and hello coming in the same line because i have written display flex i hope it is clear now i'll remove this one because this is not required because for the explaining purpose i had written so now body tag is done now i'll write the css for this section tag okay so here you can do one thing you can write css for uh, the section tag directly or you can use one class here okay so uh, you can use the class name is sign in form like this way uh, whatever class name you want you can add here so for the sign in form now you can write the css but this is for the dummy purpose okay so i'm not adding multiple class just i'll copy the section tag and i'll add why i told you to write the class because section is uh, we can use for multiple purpose right when you open uh, any site so that time you can notice like there's multiple section like header banner uh, then footer okay so section can be multiple times so if i directly write css for the section so that time it will apply for each section 
so which is not required for the real life project but this is the dummy project so that's why i can write like this only but you don't write uh, if you are using uh, for the real life project okay so that time you denote one class and then do it and now inside this section here i will write first of all that is position absolute so position absolute means uh, this section it will now float okay so here uh, position absolute and then width is 100 vh and then height height is also 100 vh okay and after that here i will add display flex display flex i already told and then justify content center and align item center so i will explain what are those two properties so justify content center and align item center those are the related of display flex means if you don't write display flex and if you write those two properties so it won't work okay so display flex and justify content and align atom those are the related so when we write justify content center so display flex i already explained like whatever the child will be under this section so that will be on the same line so now the justify content center means uh, the child element it will come the same line but from where it will start so if i write justify content center means it will start from center from left and right and if it means x axis it is called and align atom center means uh, the ch children uh, element will be middle okay means center from top to bottom means y axis it is called okay uh, here i hope it is clear and now here i will add flex wrap that is wrap means uh, this section will be wrapped uh, the children and then gap means uh, we have some children multiple children right so for this section for this section we have the span the ch children right so each span if i want to add some space so so that time you have to write this gap so gap here i will add two pixel and you have to remember the another thing so those properties come with display flex if you don't write display flex and if you are defining those properties so it will not work and overflow hidden okay overflow hidden means uh, we have multiple span tag right by chance if any span tag if any span tag it overflow from our page so that time it will hide that one okay overflow part it will hide so now uh, this is done so now i will just move to the browser and here you, you can see it is showing nothing so now here what i'll do so i will add the before tag for this section so here before and means uh, before starting this session suppose our uh, section is starting from left side so before starting this session i want to add something so here i will add content so when we write before so that time the important part is content content you have to write here you can define any content if i define any content and if i add the color so you can see this content will display so you can see the content is displaying but here no need content just something i have to write so that's why i have written before and the content is blank and color also not required so now here i will write position absolute and after that here i will add width is 100 percent and the height is 100 percent also and here after that here i will add background and the color i will add linear gradient so here i cannot write background color the property name i have to write only background and the color i will add this color code then after that here i will add 0 f 0 okay and then again this color means uh, the gradient color will look like from black then middle green and then black color again okay now if i save and you can see it is coming like this so uh, when i was showing our preview in the starting of the video so that time you have noticed one green color back on green color animation was coming automatically again and again so for that purpose this green color and now this animation was coming from top to bottom okay so i have to define the animation but before that if the animation it doesn't look smooth so it won't look like animation so for making it smooth so here what i'll do so here i'll write animation so for defining animation we need to write this animation and after that the animation name so animation name you can write anything so i'll write here animate and uh, i was saying that uh, if the animation is not smooth so it will look it will not look like animation so making it smooth I have to delay that animation so how it will delay so i have to define the timing so five millisecond okay here i have to write five s means five seconds so now here i will write linear so if you have noticed uh, in the starting so the animation coming from top to bottom means line by line so here the animation type is linear and infinite infinite means 
the animation won't stop okay so that is infinite so here i have written the animate the animation name so now i have to define the animation means how the animation will work so animation will work uh, your key as keyframes okay means one frame by one frame it will work so here i will write keyframes and the animation name and after that it will start from zero right animation will start from zero so zero percent means starting time so here i will write the starting time is transform and translate y means uh, this green color will transform and translate y means y axis i told like uh, top to bottom okay that is y and left to right it is x so here the animation i want to make it will come from top to bottom so here i'm defining translate y if i want to make it from left to right so i would define translate x so now here minus 100 percent means minus 100 percent means the green color will move top okay minus means it will move top and the 100 percent means how uh, the animation will end means zero percent it will top and the 100 uh, then i will add the same property transform translate y uh, the, but the value will be 100 percent means it will look minus 100 means it will move up and 100 percent means it will come down so it will look like from top to bottom it is coming now let's see here you can see it is looking like this okay so now after that the say uh, css i will like for the strand tag so i'll take the parent is section but if you are not using section i mean if you are using uh, any uh, class name instead of span so uh, instead of section so that time you can define the class name here and now here i am defining section and then span because under this section we have span tag so now here uh, i will write first of all is position relative position relative is also uh, for making the float okay and display block display block means it will uh, occupy the entire space i was showing right section was occupying entire space but span was not so if you want like scan also will occupy the entire space so that time you can write display block this it will block its space and now here i like with because if uh, each span block its space so it will not look like what i was showing so i have to make each span a fixed width so then it will look like it is coming side by side so here i will like this one calculation and 6.25 vw minus 2 pixel and the height i have to add calculation and 6.25 vh because this is height and minus 2 pixel okay here i have added two parentheses so i have to remove one because it is not required by mr guy added and now background color so here background you can use a background color also the property name because i'm not adding the gradient color here so this is the color code and now jet index jet index is 2 and transition transition is 1.5 is now what is jet index so jet index means uh, see when i was showing so that time the green color animation it was the behind of the span tag okay and the span tag is the top so for making the span tag top i am to write the jet index it means it will uh, it will uh, bring our span tag top and the green color will be background of the span tag so now save and here you can see it is looking like that okay and here after that i will add span hover okay so here i will add background so when i will hover so that time the background color will be like this okay and transition here zero and guys here one thing you have to write which i mistake like you have to add this one height so for this pen you have to hide vw okay and here this one this one you have to add vh for height okay so now if i do and save so it will look more better you can write uh, vw also but if you write height vh so here you can see it is looking better means the span tag is looking more big and looks better okay so now here this is done so now i will just write the css for this one so here first of all this sign in okay so inside this sign in just here i will add b class content okay and inside this here i will add this side this one sign in okay so now here uh, after that i will write 
the CSS for this sign in. Up to that, if you have any confusion, you can write in in the comment. Okay, so now position here absolute, and after that width here four hundred pixel. That means this the sign in form width here. I'm adding four hundred uh, pixel and. Here I will add the background color. So background color I will add or uh, this color code and after that jet index. So from everything like the span tag, this background animation, the our signing form will be top. So here I will add thousand. Okay. And now display flex. Display flex I already explained the purpose of use and after that here justify content is center and the align items is center and padding is 40 pixel and border radius is 4 pixel border radius means the corner will be rounded and the box shadow means our sign in form uh, first of all it will looks like a box right inside this box we will add some input fields so the box uh, have some shadow so the shadow i will add 15 pixel from top then 35 pixel okay from left and the color code rgba the color code is red green blue you can see and the alpha alpha means simply if i say this is opacity so here i will add zero then zero okay and actually has zero means a black color code not the zero this one and here also same and the alpha means opacity so here i will light 0.9 now let's see how it will look so you can see it is looking like that now here sign in uh, or we have the content so i will add the content for some css okay first of all so content and then position i will add position is relative and then with 100 percent and after that display flex and here justify contains center align item center and flex direction so i already told like flex means uh, it will be a uh, same line but if i write flex direction column means that time it won't come same line it will be a column wise right uh, same line means row wise but if i write column direction means it will come as a column wise and the gap i already explained uh, it will add some uh, gap of each flex item so that is 40 pixel now save and it is coming like this so now here i'll add this content so inside this content i have the h2 tag like here you can see this h2 tag so i will like the css for this h2 tag so first of all font size 2 e in so size we can def uh, define different different ways like uh, pixel vh okay i like em so now the color i will add this color green color and the text transform means the text will be transform and the transform will be uppercase okay so uh, means it will be uppercase like this so i hope this one is clear up to that so now here i will define the input field so for that purpose i have to define some css so inside this content here i will add the class and the class name i will add form okay and or you can do one thing instead of d here you can write form because html provide us a form tag so when we define a form so that time html provide form tag so instead of d you can write that so form and the class name is also form and here deep class input box so inside this element i mean inside this input box i will add our input field so here input type is text and then require require means you cannot submit without filling this input box so this is the validation purpose actually and here i i means italic okay i will show you what is this actually user name first of all okay so i means italic so here you can see this username it is like uh, it is not straight you can see okay it is uh, from right angle okay so that is for i and now i'll copy the same one and i'll paste here and i'll make it for password so type will be password because password when we type so uh, we don't want to show others right so if i write type password means whatever i will type so it will not display so here 
if I save this one, okay, and you can see this is the input, whatever I will type, it will display, but the password, you can see it is looking like dot, okay, so that is by this password, and now here, I will change password, so username and password is done, so now, just after this here, I will add D class links, okay, so here, I will add some space, so it will look better, so here, in this uh, links here, I will add H rate and first of all I will add the hashtag because uh, anchor tag when we use when we want to navigate another sub pages right but here I'm not creating a sub page so I will make it has when we'll create any sub page like uh, login page uh, I mean sign up page or uh, so that time I will add the link here so here this is for forget password means when we'll click the uh, this anchor tag so that time it will redirect to another page which will be a forget password okay like this so here i will add the another anchor tag anchor tag same way has okay and this is for sign up means if you want to sign up means you don't have uh, registered so uh, you can click this button anchor tag right like this way. so i'll save and i'll show you once so you can see it is coming like this so later i will add some css so it will look better so after this here just again i will copy this one and here type will be submit because this is the submit button okay and in this case required is not uh, needed because required is for input field and this is for the submit button okay input type is submit and uh, i no need this i tag here i have to add actually uh, the value uh, so value uh, whatever value i will add so that will uh, look uh, look like a button's name and input type submit means it will be like a button okay so uh, here uh, i will write login not submit actually i will write login because this is login form so here like this way and i will save and i will just come here so you can see it is a login button now i will add some css for this login form okay so here First of all, I'll come and the uh, the first thing is this form because up to H2 tag, I already wrote the CSS. Now I'll add this for this form tag. So here I will paste, okay, and width is 100% and a display flex and after that flex direction is column and here gap gap is 25 pixel means each input field has some gap that is 25 pixel and here uh, we uh, inside this form we have those input boxes so each input boxes will have some space which is 25 pixel you can see it's added some space okay so now here i will write the css for this input box so paste the class name and now position is relative and after that here i will add the width width is 100 percent okay now let's see here you can see it is looking like this okay so now i will add the css for those input so what i'll do i'll just take this class name as a parent and then i'll add input okay so here position relative and after that width is 100 percent if i write with 100 percent so earlier uh, just beside this input field the label was coming so now it is coming down okay because input is occupying 100 percent width so background is this color and after that here border none because input field coming with default border so that i will make it none okay and the outline also i'll make it none and after that here i will write the color color is white color because the background color is uh, the uh, some gray color so if i write the color white so the font whatever i will type so it will be visible so padding is 25 pixel then top is 25 pixel then from left and right is 10 pixel and the bottom bottom is 7.5 pixel okay so now let's see once how it will look like so you can see it is looking like this okay and after that here i will add 
border radius for making corner round 4 pixel the value and the font size the font size i will add 1 em and the font weight font weight means uh, how the font look thick okay how much thick so that is 500 so here you can see it is looking like this okay so this is done and now here i will add the css for our label label means i tag so what i'll do so again i will just take this class name as a parent class and the i because inside this i i have our label okay so position absolute left zero and here i will add padding padding uh, from top and bottom is 5 pixel left and right is 10 pixel okay and font style i'll add style i'll add uh, normal normal okay and then color and the color i'll add this color code and after that transition means when i'll click the input field the label was moving up and down so for that purpose i have to add some uh, smooth animation so first of all i will define uh, like how it will smooth okay so that is 0 0.5 second means uh, when it will move up or down so it will delay that is 0 0.5 second means 0 0.5 millisecond and the pointer events pointer events is none okay so now here you can see it is now coming here okay it is now coming here so now here what will do just i will take uh, this input box okay and then input like this okay and when i will focus on the input so that time i will add this i so you have to add this symbol so why you will get this symbol this is called tiled okay the symbol name is tiled so this symbol you will get just beside the one number key in your keyboard you will get this symbol so beside this one number key uh, you will get one button so you have to press this button after pressing shift shift button okay then you will get this symbol and this symbol is called tiled tiled okay this symbol name you have to add this symbol and now here so on focus here i will add transform translate y because it will move up i already told what is y so 7.5 pixel and font size it will be small size when it will move up so 0 0.8 e m and the color color will be white color so now let's see so it is like this okay so uh, initially it should come from middle actually but it is not coming so for that purpose i have to check why uh, where i did the wrong okay so but before that here one thing i want to do so now here if i type anything suppose my name okay now if i click the outside it is coming again in the down but it should up right when we type on anything in the input field it stay up only so for that purpose again i have to add comma and i'll just copy the same thing and i will paste after comma but instead of focus i will write active means once i will type something in the input field means now the input field is active right so active time also it will be up see now it is clicked means active but if i go outside means it is deactivated right so here if i type any passwords and if i click outside so see here like this okay so that is the active okay sorry not active actually valid i was thinking why it is not working actually valid okay valid means uh, required we have added right required for validation i told already when i was writing the input field is required uh, means we need some value in the input field so once we type the value here means it is valid right the input field is valid so uh, then you can write like this valid then it will be like this way only so now i will check why uh, the initially it is coming from top if i replace one so it is coming from top so that i have to check once okay so the issue is here i wanted to type 15 pixel but by mistake i wrote 5 pixels so that's why it initially it was in the top but now you can see it is in middle when i will click so that time it will move top 
so this animation done now the painting is this thing right so here if it comes this is links so i will just copy this links and i will add the css for this links okay so here first of all i will add position is relative so position and then relative and after that width is 100 percent and after that display flex display flex and here justify content this time i won't add center i will add space between space between means uh, inside the links okay uh, here i have two children right this one and this one so if i write space between means it won't start from center it will be like so the first one will start from starting and the last one will start from end position right so now let's see how it will look like then you can understand easily see here there is two children forward password and the sign up so once i have written the space between means it will add the space between those two elements right so here it is added space between those two elements so this is that one and now here i paste and the anchor tag because uh, inside the link i have two anchor tag the children one so here for the anchor tag here i will add the color color is white color code and after that text decoration none uh, anchor tag comes with default underlines so if i write text decoration none so it will remove the underline now here i will copy this thing so it will applicable for the each anchor tag means we have two anchor tags so it will applicable for two anchor tags but here i want to change the design for the second one second here second one means the second children right those are the children of the link so here i want to change the design for this second items means second children so here i can define second children so here i'll write the nth child and the two two means the second children okay so here i will write color color is 0 a 0 this green color and the font weight means how thick it will be so the font weight is 600 okay and now this is done you can see here it is looking like this now i'll add design for this button and once it will done so it will be completed so here now you can see this input box okay input box we have button inside this so now here i'll paste now here i will write input okay so if i write input this tag name so this tag name is multiple places here and there so whatever says i'll write so it will be applicable for each input but i don't want i want only where the submit is written because this input type is text this one is password this one is submit so i want this one so i will just copy this type submit so if i add type submit means it will denote only that one only like this square bracket inside this square bracket you have to paste it okay so now here i will add padding padding is 10 pixel and after that background so background color i will add this green color code and after that here i will add the color color i will add white and font weight font weight 600 and after that the font size the font size will be 1.35 em and the cursor pointer so a uh, cursor pointer means like uh, it will be a hand symbol when i will uh, here you can see the symbol here you can see the symbol but here if i comes you can see the hand symbol so this is the cursor pointer okay and once i wrote the pointer events none okay so here if you see the pointer events none means when i will click the input field so no event will fire okay so that is the pointer events none and after that here i will add later spacing 0 0.5 em means uh, the later means uh, i have you can see the login okay so here uh, you can see l and between o i have added some space and o and g between i have added some space so that is 0 0.5 actually i have wrote, but i have to write 0 0.05 and for explaining purpose i have added more gap then you can understand now you can see it will look like this okay so now here this is done and here i'll just copy this one and after that here i will add active and here uh, i'll add opacity 0 0.6 okay so now save 
and if I click you can see here it is changing the opacity so same way I can add the hover also so what I'll do just I'll add and here I'll paste and instead of active I'll add the hover so it will be the same you can see when hover and the click so this one done okay now what I'll do so when I will open this site in the different different sites like so that time I have to adjust the site right so here I will add media and the max width okay here 900 pixel means when your divide size will be below 900 okay so that time this section and then span means I have written some CSS for the span right if I show in the top so here if it comes the top you can see this section is there so when I will come to the uh, device edge which is lower than 900 so that time this span I will change the width and height okay so here I will add width calculation and 10 vw minus 2 pixel and the height I will add 10 v h or v uh, w not h actually 2 pixel okay and I will copy the same and when I will go to more lower device width like 600 below 600 so that time I will make it more small that is 20 minus this like this okay so here you can see the sign in form is ready and you can see the animation hope you have understood if you have any doubt any confusion so you can write in the comment section insta id will get in the description so there you can follow me and you can write your doubt okay i will try to solve your doubt i will guide you and if you find this video helpful so please like this video also subscribe my channel to get more updates in this kind of html css javascript react angular node expressions okay